You hear g'day guys? If you have a dash like mine that's sticky on a Toyota Camry, try cleaning it so you're going to replace it. those pliers and twist it to get it out of this slot here. To remove the glove box, we've got to take this thing out first and then squeeze it. So, all it took was one, two, three screws. Two ten mil bolts. Yeah, to undo the bonnet cable, you can see there's this notch there, and the other part of the cable clips on there, as well as the uh, scan tool plug that goes in there. Pull this cover off. Like that, the dash cover. There's two the two little plugs that go in there and there. And then to put it back in, you just put it that way like that. Four bolts. That's one, two, three, and four. So these are the plugs you need to undo from the stereo. Five plugs there, one for the heater control, the others for the stereo and the antenna. You've got speakers, just two little screws undo, and this little clip here. You need to unplug this wiring. So you can remove this clip here 
Put this tool here. Couple of screws, one screw there, two screws there, and just pull straight out as a clip there. So underneath the dash here, you need to disconnect this plug from the airbag. The way it works, you need to pull this clip backwards and the glove box light. It's a little bit tricky, but there's the clip and there's a switch. So if you can see, there's a bolt there and a bolt there. There's a bolt there. And not there. As well as a bolt there and a nut there. So I had to use a half inch drive 12 millimeter socket to remove the two bolts at the airbag. All you need to do is just grab the unit and slide it out like that. While doing so, making sure that you've disconnected everything. Which I haven't yet, so you gotta make sure you disconnect this earth wiring up, up here on the chassis. So you can see the the shine, the thick, sticky. The new one is very clean. Well, this is a good second hand one. So this is the best way to remove the vent. Get your hand behind, find a little clip that you need to help push through, like I did there. That should pop out. your vents to remove and your airbag plus any wiring and other clips. Make sure these clips here, there's one, two, three, four, five of them. A couple of them came off on the dashboard, so make sure you retrieve them and put them on. Because it's how that clip goes on. So the whole unit clips on to there. While it mounts onto that screw. And that screw there as the main locating screws for the dashboard. Before putting the dash on, make sure you locate the wiring, these two there, and this plug here. Make sure it's tucking underneath that plastic there. So the unit needs to be pushed in that way. And the only way you know it's properly in is when that screw lines up all the way. And this screw here as well. 
as well as the uh, airbag bolts. Okay, make sure you got this wiring clipped on there, plugged in up there. Same thing with that side, and you've got these two hanging through. Now the uh, airbag plug. This is the uh, switch for the light. Make sure you plug in the wiring for the dash. And put it into place. Four screws. The dash cover. Make sure you plug in the wiring before you push it straight in. Same thing with this one here. There's two plugs. You just push these covers straight on. Push these straight in. Connect up the cigarette lighter. Straight, but two, there's two plugs there, <coughs> two screws for that. Then there's and then there's two screws for the console one, two, and two 10 mil screws. Let's get that on. You just got to push it on, and there's two bolts to, and, a, and a couple of screws. See that uh, rectangle? So you need to grab it with long nose pliers, turn it on an angle like that, and then fit the unit, which you can see. So now you can fit your rubber. Your kick panel is two little clips, one little nut, like that. And you can put that cover back on. On the other side, you can just push push this straight out, straight down, same as this, and then push push these straight on, same as this side. You got this bit here to push straight in. Make sure you plug up the wiring there. Push that straight on. Make sure you connect up the bonnet cable to the lever and the scan plug to there. And you're ready to put this cover on. Just push it on. Put the clip on. And then you've got a bolt there and the bolt right there. Ensure you fit the shock absorber to the glove box. Put this bottom cover on.